So Jordan, I know Cortona is like your favorite town right. in Italy. So I arranged a special treat for you. People of Cortona, I wish to thank you <laughs> on behalf of myself and my fake Italian friend from Long Island. Now, the mayor of Cortona, please. Buongiorno e benvenuti. Ci fa molto onore il fatto che lui eh, apprezzi tutto la bellezza di Torio del nostro comune. Ah, very good. <laughs> I now would like to move on to the great honor that Jordan is going to be given. A parking space made in his honor. <laughs> Jordan, please. Ciao, signori e signore. Io sono nato a New York, però il mio cuore è sempre qui a Cortona. Questo è un posto molto magico. Ed è il sogno, infatti, questo posto specificamente è molto bello. Io non so dov'è questo parcheggio, perché questa è la piazza più grande a Cortona. Tante cose qui e tornerò il prossimo anno per fare ancora. Nell'estate si può mangiare fuori in questo ristorante, ma guarda, anche quando mangio lì io prendo un primo che si chiama orecchiette al fumo, e, e, uh, e, e un antipasto con uh, solumi affettati misti, uh, ci sono tanti pecorini locali e per il forno con uh, la bistecca io ho finito la We're going to your favorite restaurant, is that right? Yes. We came here because Jordan yeah. pretty much explicitly said he's a big deal in this restaurant. I'm not concerned with being a big deal. I'm concerned with having a good meal. It's not all about rank. You have this insecurity about you that you project onto others. I don't care if I'm a big deal, a little deal, a medium deal, a neutral deal. I just want to go eat a good meal. I don't how know who you are. How many people do I have to know here? I don't here? know who you are. You you wanna, how many people do I need to know cocaine? to eat a meal here? You how many people do you know? Are you on cocaine right now? <laughs> Uh, uh, this is Mirko. Uh, Grazie. Uh, yes. We have heard that uh, Jordan is a big deal here. Your picture's up on the wall. Yes, it's an honor. And Mirko, I've had other bicchieris. The Mario bicchieri di Bordeaux. Why did you change the wine glasses? Listen, just listen to me. This is my place. This is my experience that I'm sharing with you, okay? You may love it, you may hate it, but at least you'll know you experienced it my way. I, I really don't, this, is, this glass is not balanced in the hand. I just think Do you feel it's like top heavy? You're scaring me. This line is from a few kilometers from where we sit right now. Just say miles. <laughs> what are you smelling when you smell this wine? In the same way warmth gives people comfort, sometimes the chill of the forest gives people comfort. And I feel like the smell of this wine gives me the same feeling. What do you smell? You sit there with a judging face without commenting yourself. I smell desperation. I smell sadness. I smell a need to construct a false identity. Tuscany, as I've mentioned, is a region of meat. And the meat of this region in particular is the tagliata. Named tagliari is to cut, the tagliata is cut. It's a sliced steak. We have a pasta called orchietta al fumo, which has bacon in it, which I know you like, you're big on bacon. It's got bacon, it's in this like creamy tomato sauce. Amatza Cafe is the coffee killer. Why? Coffee keeps you up late at night. The Amatza Cafe, the after dinner drink, puts you to sleep after the coffee. Oh, I think I'm gonna sleep just fine. <laughs> Ah, prego, prego, Rastafarian. I feel like I have the music and soul of an Italian person when I'm here. I just right. don't have the words. Do you know what I mean? You're clearly not Italian. I mean, look at you. Or, you know, look at the way you're dressed, look at your physical condition. I mean, there what are... What does that mean? I, I'm saying there, there are different body types. There's an Do you Ameri think I'm heavy? I think you're heavier than the average Italian. Let's just say heavier. Not that that's a bad thing. Maybe you're stronger. Maybe it'll keep you warm. But I'm saying you're clearly bigger than, than an Italian you body man. body shamed me. You would have thought uh, that your body is perfect? Not perfect. I'm not here to insult you. 
I'm you're doing a pretty good job. I, I haven't insulted you at all. Okay, you you look at yourself naked. I look at myself naked every okay. night. It's the only way I can from all actually become erect. Look, I'm cold down there. <laughs> you're comfortable. You understand? I said this is not a bad thing. You're better than I am. Because I'm lean and I had a big problem with the coldness. Yeah. But I'm okay because I'm covered in a down jacket of fat. I'm aware of all your facial whiffs over the years. 2002, you're happy. a gross. If I look at a show from 2002, it's almost like, it looks like you were digitally manipulated. <laughs> like you were a skinny guy playing a fat guy in the movie and they digitally stretched your face. You look great now. I'm just saying in 2002, you were disgusting. <laughs> just look at the tape. Just look at the tapes. Ah, oh, perfecto. <clears throat> we came to Italy, as you said, there's a dessert named after you. I look at this menu, no dessert named after you. What's the dessert's name? The Dolce di Jordan. But I don't see it here on the menu. A little confused. The special in summer. Special in summer? Yes. Can this be the Conan salt? This is the salt of Conan. Sell the Conan. She doesn't even know that you are Conan. Doesn't she does not know who you are. She doesn't know who you are. You understand. You're presupposing she knows your name. She doesn't even know who you are. You're so used to you know know who you are. You walk into the president in a foreign country, you pay your expenses. She doesn't even know Conan is a name. Conan is a name.